What's up, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links video. Today, we're going to be doing an Exodia deck showcase in PvP because one of the homies in the comment section on the Ninja deck showcase commented asking me if I should build an updated Relinquish, not Relinquish deck, Exodia deck. There you go. Messed up right there. But yeah, we're going to do an Exodia deck showcase. I don't know why I'm getting Relinquish and Exodia messed up. Well, let's do the deck profile and then after that, I'm going to show you a dual replay but you know just here's the thing exodia is not that good of a deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. i'm going to show you the deck that i am trying to build on here but personally in my opinion exodia is just not that good but what i thought of for an exodia deck is using the red eyes draw engine and milling at the same time it's kind of weird i have a deck replay that'll kind of show what i was trying to do with the shenanigans but here we go we have three copies of blue dragon summoner three copies of red eyes we have one copy of giant soldier stone stone for defense we have one heart of the underdog we have one enemy controller for defensive reasons we have three reds of the cards cards of the redstone one magical mallet two jar of avarices three needle bug nests and two backup soldiers how this deck works is like very simple. If my opponent destroys my blue dragon summoners, I can search out one of my Exodia pieces. If I have a red eyes and if I have a cards of red stone in my hand, I can draw two. I can sack off my red eyes in my hand, draw two cards, and then sack off another red eyes. So I have less cards in my deck to hopefully draw better or to draw all the pieces of Exodia. I have one Heart of the Underdog. I got one Enemy Controller for defensive reasons, and Heart of the Underdog is just a decent draw card. One Magical Mallet in case if I mill or brick pretty bad or whatever. We have two Jar of Avarices just in case if I am milling out my deck with Needlebug Nest and accidentally throw Exodia the Forbidden one in there because that's the only effect one out of all the Exodia pieces. And then I have two Backup Soldiers for if... Um, I mill out my normal Exodia pieces. I can just bring them back right away with backup soldiers. So that's kind of the gist in this deck or whatever. It's honestly not that good. I recommend playing Wonder Wand and Blue Dragon Summoner if you really want to go that. Because Wonder Wand, what it does is it gives 400 attack to your spellcasters and monsters. And then if you sack off your spellcast, and then the second effect is you can destroy Wonder Wand and your Blue Dragon Summoner on the field to draw two cards. And then since your Blue Dragon Summoner was sent for the field to the the graveyard you can search for one of your um search for one of your exodia pieces anyway so here we go we have a replay it's yugi moto versus yugi moto because i'm going to show you guys one of my duels that i had against this boy his name was pedro and rip to your boy pedro put a rip in the comment section if you're watching because i won twice against pedro and we were both playing um exodia the first one was actually due to a connection issue um, I didn't even, like, the game just didn't load at all, and I won against him. And then the second duel we did, I'll just show you why I'm saying rip to your boy Pedro, because we were doing a mirror match with Exodia in casual duels. A lot of fun, but rip to your boy Pedro. So let's start the duel replay. Exodia, not that good of a deck. It's I think you'll have the most fun playing Exodia is if you have another friend that plays Duel Links and you guys just do an Exodia mirror match. That's really fun. But if you're doing, uh, if you're just doing it in normal PvP, good luck. It's just. It's just not good because you're forced to make 20 cards and then along with the fact that you need that grandpa's cards are added immediately to your deck so you minimum you have 30, 25 cards in your deck. It's kind of silly but we're going against Yugi Moto versus Yugi Mogo. I go first in this duel and shout out to your boy Pedro. Your boy Pedro is running a 30 card deck. He has 25 cards for whatever reason. I don't know why. Actually, I think this is a glitch with the duel replay. Because I, I know I had 20 cards only. I think this is just a dual replay glitch. Yeah, I feel like dual replay is messing up right now because it's like not doing anything. Um. Yeah, we're going to quit the replay and reload it and see if that helps. But yeah, it's definitely glitching. It would have played cards automatically unless they just updated it out of nowhere where it's real time now instead of all fast forward. Not too sure, but we're going to restart that dual replay and hopefully fix itself. If it doesn't, I'll just explain why I'm saying rip to your boy Pedro, but I would rather have you guys see the dual replay. And all that shenanigans. Okay, so Pedro, Yugi Moto versus Yugi Moto. I go first. Yeah, it's still 30 card deck. Grandpa's cards. Grandpa's cards. Yeah, this looks glitched right now.
Hmm. That is not cool at all. Yeah, it's just messed up right now. That's kind of that's a glitch that Konami needs to fix. Huh, that sucks. Anyways, so <laughs> the reason why I'm saying rip to your boy Pedro is because in that dual replay that we did, it was um, Exodia versus Exodia. As I said, I think I said relinquish multiple times in this video instead of Exodia. I'm really sorry about that if that triggers anybody. Commentary commentating is difficult, but. Your boy Pedro, when I was facing him with Exodia and he had Exodia also, he drew all 24 of his cards and he had one more card left. And that was his last piece of Exodia. While for me, when he had one card, I had six cards and I drew my last piece of Exodia. I had all four of them and I just felt so bad for Pedro because one... The first time I dueled him, apparently, in casual duels, we disconnected and I won. Second time it happens, he had one more card to draw that would have been relinqu not relinquished, Exodia, and he would have won the duel. Feels bad for your boy, Pedro. But for the meme, we're going to go to casual duel and search uh, for a duel to see how we can win Exodia with an Exodia deck. I don't feel like we can. Hopefully you can find another opponent that's also playing Exodia because it's actually a lot of fun. Mirror match Exodias are a lot of fun. Let's see if this is a Yugi. Let's see if this is a Yugi Moto with Grandpa cards ability. I really hope it is. That would be really cool. Um, you know, I kind of wonder, I wonder if in the new um, main box that will come out in a month or so, I wonder if they'll add Exodia support. That would be pretty cool. Ooh, Yugi Moto. Is it a Grandpa's cards versus Grandpa's cards? I really hope it is. So I'm going first. Ooh, I think it is. Our decks are looking a little stacked. Yep, two. Oh, wait, no. Just me. And I'm playing the wrong deck. I'm just going to surrender. You know what? I don't care. It's casual duels. I'm sorry. I hope I hope you had a good hand, Yugi Moto. But I just realized that I accidentally forgot to switch my deck. Uh, <laughs> darn it! No, those casual duels. Those casual duels. I think both of my losses in casual duel are actually because I was surrendering. Yeah, because I did. Uh, when I was hanging out with some friends today, I was playing some Yu-Gi-Oh, and I had to go to my next period in my classroom. And I just forfeited the duel. So those two losses are forfeits, I promise. Especially the last one. You saw that on camera. Let's try this again with the Exodia deck. Oh, I was ready for that. I was ready for an Exodia v Exodia. I would have been in my advantage, too, because the kid was running 23 cards along with the five piece of Exodia, so in total, 28 cards. Oof. Come on. Be that kid again. Nope, Silver Rank 2. Ah! Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. I really want to do Exodia for Exodia. Anyways, let's do this. Let's let's destroy this set of Kaiba. Oh, actually, this is not bad. So we're gonna play cards with the redstone right away. Oh, uh, we might be good. If you draw your forbidden one immediately, you're doing good. Yes. Yes. Oh, dude, if we can draw a regretful rebirth, that's a GG, my boy. Okay. We might be good. We might be doing good. Okay, so okay, but what are you gonna do? So right now we have two pieces of Exodia, we have a Needle Bug Nest, and we have a Blue Dragon Summoner. All we need is Regretful Rebirth and to mill out all three of our other Exodia pieces. Actually, probably two if Setokaiba attacks us. As long as we can get a spicy Regretful Rebirth, that's all we really need right now. Oh, well, he's we playing also defensive shoot. Shoot. Okay, so we're not going to play Needle Bug Mess Nest just yet. Okay, we got a Jar of Avarice. Feeling a little safe. We're going to mill out um, top five cards of our deck. Let's see if we can mill out any Exodia pieces. Is Seto Kepper really going to negate? Okay, what did we mill out? One piece of Exodia, Blue Dragon Summoner. Okay, then. We're going to throw that spicy Jar of Avarice face down. And we're going to play it probably immediately, honestly. I'll wait, though. I'll have to see what else we get. So that's another defensive. I'm perfectly fine with that, my boy. I Okay, ooh. Oh. Oof. Is it destroy? Yeah, it's destroy. And it's sent from Field Graveyard. Cool. We Gucci. 
so this kid's playing ninjas. That's pretty cool. I like that. I respect. I respect on your name. We're going to add the right arm of the Forbidden One because, you know, you need the Jack and off hand, you know? We need that good hand. So we have three pieces of Exodia, one in our grave and one in our deck. Okay. We just need Regretful Rebirth and we good. We're going to take a 1500, guaranteed. I really just need a Regretful Rebirth and we good because then i'll just i'll just set one of our face down i'll just use one of the pieces of exodia defend oh no he's gonna deal a lot of damage oof it's now or never boys yep sending that one gonna do the level beat down ninjas really cool shout out to the soda cup of playing that so yeah it's gonna deal a clean 1700 again oh this is not good i am very spooked right now and that other trap is possibly another duplication or uh, it comes down to this last draw. Backup soldier. Oh, shoot. Okay. We're going to first play Jar of Avarice. We're going to first play that. We're going to send. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have five monsters in there right now. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to have to send that, because I need one, two, three, four. Yeah, I need five monsters in my grave. Okay, sending all that, and then we're drawing a card. Okay, we got an Econ. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Because how many... So we have one in there. We just need the last piece of Exodia out of our deck, and then we good. So I'm going to set the right arm of the Forbidden One just for some defensive reasons. Reasons, Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't have the um, ninja trap that he can banish one of his ninjas and save himself. Let's see what the Sido Kaiba does. Okay. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. Yep. Yep. We're going to play the Econ play. We're going to tributes off our right and do that. I'm taking your ninja. I'm taking it. I don't care. Hopefully it doesn't have the dupe one. Please don't have the dupe one. This duel is intense. Too intense for me. No. Okay. 400 damage only. If he's going to go for this. Plus the 300, we're going to be living on a 1,000 or 100 light points. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my goodness. This is a close duel. We're not playing Regret for Rebirth yet. We got to believe in the heart of the memes, my boys. Can we get the last? What, what can we get? Blue Dragon Summoner? <sighs> I don't know. Draw. This is not good. Not good at all. What can we do? Oh, no. You know what? No, we can't. We can't do that. We just got pranked. We actually got pranked. I guess the last thing to do is play backup soldier. Because we can't... Now here's the here's the thing. What how are we gonna do this? Cause we have magical mallet right now. We're just gonna have to play the magical mallet and hope for the best. Now how am I gonna do this though? Am I gonna mill out all of my pieces of Exodia? Do I wanna mill out three of them? And have such giant soldier for defense? It doesn't matter. We we got I think we gotta do all of it. I think I'm just gonna mill a whole hand except for Exodia. The Forbidden One. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do. Because even if we set it down, he most likely is gonna have another ninja. Welp. Let's see what four cards we get. GG. Didn't draw our last um, red eyes. Yeah, we didn't draw our last red eyes. GG right there. 
I mean, I'll set down. I'll set down the leg. I'll set down the leg and see what happens. But that's 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 a GG right there. If he draws another monster. Like, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, Exodia is way too complicated to even pull it off. It's literally all RNG. Yep, I knew you had a monster. Why do you... Wait, okay, this little Kaiba should not be running Aaron Armor Ninja, Beat Down Ninja. I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, we lost. We can't really do anything with this trap, so I guess for the shenanigans the shenanigans we're gonna just play needle bug nice but like i said exodia is just too like it's too luck based it's completely rng i don't know the best one's probably blue dragon summoner plus two with wonder one or whatever it's like the closest you're gonna get for some spicy exodia plays other than that though you're not seeing you're not seeing much of that that's gonna be it. I think I'm just gonna do one duel because it kind of showcase like how this works. I really want to. Okay, before we completely end it off, let's see if we can get the dual replay to work. I doubt it, but still. But yeah, that's a pretty good deck showcase on like Exodia is too difficult. So reason why that's Yugi's first ability. How to inflict damage. Player data. Well, it's a 007. I don't know if this is going to work. Duel Links is being a bully. Going first. Yep, it's not working. I don't get what... This glitch is actually really annoying. Maybe once I stop recording, I can figure out what the problem is. We have to just sit here and nothing happens. Like... <laughs> well, I think that's going to be it for today's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. If you guys enjoyed... Sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links content. I have a lot of videos that I have ideas for. Some of them are ready right now, and some of them are going to be a little later, but I got content for you guys. So be excited for that, and that's why you should subscribe to the channel. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.